Okay, what's up everybody? It's T-Ball. Um, we're back with another review. I didn't do a review Sunday. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do reviews on Sundays. Sundays are usually pretty busy for me. Um, and Ernie has claimed Saturdays. Apparently you guys really like that. That seemed to have been a big hit. So we're going to let him keep reviewing stuff on Saturdays. Um, first, I want to say thank you for all the subs. Thank you for watching. And thank you for clicking the like button. Uh, it helps a lot. Um, maybe one day we'll get in one of those algorithms and have a lot of views on one video. I don't know. Maybe one day. But let's get into this review. So today I've oh whoops. Today I have got the Engel Super Camo Cooler. I think that's the name. Uh, this is about $150. I got this for Christmas. Uh, I did not pay for it, so that's really nice. Um, but overall, this cooler does really great for me. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, let's go out there and, and have a have a look at this cooler and uh, let's see what you guys think about it. Okay, so we got the cooler right here. The Engel Super Camo Cooler, something like that. So for starters, if you're going to go on these canoeing and uh, camping trips, do not bring a cooler that does not have a zipper. Okay, because chances are you're gonna flip and everything you're gonna have in your regular igloo cooler is gonna come spill right out of it. So get a cooler that zips. You're not gonna lose anything that way. Um, so the zippers on this, they're pretty durable. I'm pretty sure they're water resistant, so they're not gonna let water in, uh, at least not too much. It does have a small opening right here. They should have just done uh, one zipper on this. One thing I don't like about it, two zippers doesn't make any sense for it. So. Um, there is a lot of space in it. I, I managed to, I think I put about two bags of ice in this and uh, about 24 cold ones. So, and, it, and it, does, it does really well with that. I want to say it holds for a good two days. And that's with this being in the sun all day long. I mean, it, it's constantly baking in the sun. It also has two... Um, two different compartments here. So this one, uh, I use this compartment right here. It doesn't go very deep. I use this for my sandwiches and uh, snacks, stuff like that that need to keep cool, but I don't have to keep ice on it because this insulated part here will keep that portion cool. Um, you can probably see that it's, uh, it's pretty deep. It's got a lot of room in it. I mean, I think one of the main things I like about this cooler is how much storage space it has. I mean, it's ridiculous. So, you got pockets on both sides that you can fit a lot more in there than you would think. So yeah, you, you have those two pockets. It's also a backpack, which is great. And then you have another hidden pocket back here that Velcros, and it's just as deep as the rest of the cooler. So that's a bunch of space. And then up here you have two zip compartments. Well. One zip compartment, one Velcro compartment. Uh, so the zip compartment's pretty big, and you can see where my hand is in there. It's 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 a good size, and it has a few pockets in there. Um, you don't really need them necessarily, but it's nice. Uh, and then your Velcro pocket is also okay. Well, it's not as deep as I thought it was. Uh, this front pocket's not as deep as the the very back one. But it is still a lot of room. Um, overall, I like this cooler. Uh, I like it a lot. You also have a handle here to carry it with if you don't want to backpack it. Oh, and then these two, I guess. Um, overall, I like the cooler. Uh, I wish that thing stayed cooler in it longer. It says three days on the uh, product, but and it might hold three days if it's in the shade or if you've got it inside or something like that, it probably will hold three days. But if you've got this sitting in a canoe out in the sun, it's not holding three days. Um, I feel like that next morning I wake up with a little bit of ice left and, it, and it's mostly water. Um, so yeah, if, if it's in the sun all day, I'd say you get like, I might have to sneeze. I'd say you get like a good day and a half to two days out of it, which is not bad. Um, my trips typically don't last longer than that. Uh, there are a few things I would change on it. I don't know if I can quite give this the five stars just because 
it being $150, I know that there are probably other coolers out there that might be better than this one. Haven't researched it. And like I said, I got this for Christmas, so I've never had to go out and get a cooler. This has lasted me, I want to say I've had it for at least three or four years now, and it's done me really well, so I can't complain about that. It's durable. It does pretty good. Uh, so overall, I would probably give this a good four stars, I think, honestly. I, I mean, it, it does exactly what I need it to do. So it works for me, and that's great. So if you like this and you think this is something you'd want, you should go buy it. Okay, let's do the outro for this video. Um, overall, I like the cooler a lot. Uh, I can't give it a five star simply because I think there might be better coolers out there for $150. Do I know that? No, I don't. I haven't done the research. I have no reason to. The cooler I have works great for me. Um, you should definitely have a cooler if you're going to go canoeing, especially if you're going to stay over the night. Um, it's pretty much essential. So I figured I should cover that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad all of you guys are still watching. I'm glad everybody is still subbing and uh, still liking the videos. I'm not sure what I'm going to review tomorrow. Um, I've got a pretty good idea. Uh, it might involve some labor. So maybe you guys can look forward to that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Four star review. And uh, yeah, you guys have a great day.